the pipeline. So you have your data. The train, train is just storing all the data points. So we build your model, model, just by storing in the case of K and N, but for other models, it's far more complicated than that. So we typically split our data into a train test. And then we train using our train set. We test it using our test set. We evaluate using the test set. So think of this as like um, your um, review for the exam. And then the test is your actual test, your exam. So you get the shortest distance of every test, every train. Pretty much the same as what we've done earlier. It's the same. I'm just showing you the pipeline here. Okay. So uh, what's this? Well, what does this look like? Okay. So for example, if, uh, yeah, that's it. So if your K is equal to one, then this is what happens to all of the possible data, data points that you have in this two-dimensional space. If your k is equal to three, then it will look like this. If it's k equals to five, then it will look like this. Yeah, just showing you um, what happens as you increase your number of k's. Okay. Um, so the more general form is the Minkowski distance. So it's this one, um, the order is a variable, LP norm. Um, Manhattan and Euclidean distances are just some special cases of the Minkowski distance. So in Manhattan, basically you just have one, and in Euclidean, the order is two. It's, this is the general equation, basically. And normally we use Euclidean distance for K and N. Oh, then there's a chat. Order, uh, this one. Ta -da. This exponent here. And then this one. So basically, it's uh, it's this one. This P variable here. The distance of the two points raised to P, then you um, add them all up and then get the root. Okay. Yep. So it's this. I mean, close to this. So yeah, you have Manhattan and Euclidean. So yeah, visualize them. This is Manhattan distance, or something's called the city block distance. This so the distance of um this one and this one is both five. They're both five, the red and uh, the green path. If you're Euclidean, then it's gonna be um this one, the diagonal line here. That's gonna be your distance, which is shorter, of course. This okay. The dimensionality and order. Uh, yeah, this is about, um, this is similar to the piece of dimensionality that I've mentioned earlier. It's practically the same. Um, just want to show you that, um, yeah, this is like the breakdown of the, the slide that I have shown in the previous slide deck. The point here is, as you increase the number of dimensions and order um, for the distance metric that you're using, you are um, going to end up with more and more similar data points. Why I, I uh, bring it up again is because um, you are prone to the curse of dimensionality issue with um, K nearest neighbors. 
that's that's um the bottom line and they're going to become more similar so um it's hard if you have so many dimensions and uh, the distance metric that you're using is um, has a very high order what the four <laughs> yeah sorry i can only show you three. yeah that, that's really it that's the purpose of that slide yeah i have to summarize this one but yeah i just um did a breakdown of the earlier slide 